I like Tech Pack. I love Tech Pack. I I really want for Tech Pack to be a successful company. But when you send us stuff like this, I'm sorry, I can't support you. This is the worst thing that I've ever seen ever. But there's a problem. You're not any good. Welcome back, everybody, to the most boring tack pack ever. Hey, that random fella. He ain't lying. Brought to you from the most boring place ever. This is my bed, my new place. I don't have anything up. Very boring here. Nothing happens here. Nothing has ever happened here. Yeah. I don't know what I just said, but I said something. Just like nothing happens inside this tech pack. As a matter of fact, when I was coming home today was the most exciting part of my day. I was going to do a tech pack unboxing for those of you that love ARs, you own ARs, you like to build ARs, you want to modify your ARs, you want to update your ARs, you, your sister has an ARs, you're like, hey sis, look, these guys from Tech Pack, they sent me something, can I please adjust your AR to make it a little better? This is not the box for you this month. Instead, you'll be better off like I wanted to do, which was just, you know what, fuck it. I ain't doing shit. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stay in my bed. Fuck that. I keep it real. I watch YouTube videos. I wanna watch other people be disappointed about this month's tech pack. But, alas, they're like, I think there are three of you that are gonna give me a thumbs up. So, I made this video for you. And Jason James finally caught back up. Thank you, Jason James. Love seeing you again. Um, so anyway, I came home. Oh, well, I guess uh, I, I drove out to the horses today, and I wanted to, uh, you know, get them turn out running around, and then I was going to do my uh, box, and then I ran into, uh, you know, some of the folks that I hadn't seen a little bit, a little bit. So... I chit chatting with them, the you know, kind of the the light got away from us a little bit, even with daylight savings. If you don't understand why we need daylight savings, go watch my last video. If you know, it's like we already had that extra hour, which was awesome. I got to chat with them. I, I never get to see them. I love these folks. Good people. You know, horse people are good people. You know, the heart's always in the right place. So um, anyway, so I get home. And as I'm driving down the street, we live in a cul-de-sac, and uh, this guy riding his dirt bike doing wheelies up and down the street, up and down the street, up and down the street. From the time that I drove all the way down, I don't know, what is it, maybe 200 yards, he had already like, wee, 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 wheelie, 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 wheelie. So then I, I pull in. And I get uh, my tack pack out of the back of my Jeep because I didn't do my video. I grab my, you know, I grab my cooler and uh, I grab, grab my other stuff, you know. And I'm like, so I walk up and I see this uh, girl walking determined. This girl was determined. She had a she look at her face. And I was like, hey, I, I'd never met her before. Her name was Holly. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but I go, hey, uh, are you going to go yell at that guy for <laughs> riding wheelies up and down the block? She goes, yeah, I'm, a I'm like, hey, hey, hang on a second. I go, here. It just, here. So I put all my stuff down, and she goes, are you going to go talk to him? And I go, well, I I'll go talk to him, but just don't steal my stuff, please. <laughs> Dude, I'm such a dick. I'm such a fucking dick. I'm just like, hey, I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna take care of this. Don't steal my stuff. Alright, so she 
giggles a little bit, and she's like, all right, you go handle it. So I look over to the guy, you know, and he's, and, and sure enough, he's like, wah, wheelie down this way, and I was like, I waved, and he stopped, and I go, hey, 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 my friend, um, my name's John, I, what's your name? He, he pulls right up to me and turns his engine off immediately, boom. Very respectful. Turns it off immediately, boom. And I go, hey, I'm John. How you doing, buddy? And then he told me his name, and I can't remember it. Uh, I think it was Rashid. As a matter of fact, I'm 100% now. It was Rashid. So Rashid says, hey, I just got this. I go, you know what, buddy? That's wonderful. Your bike is beautiful. Um, but the thing is, there are people that are nurses around here, and uh, they got to get up in a couple hours to go do the graveyard shift to help folks. So, uh, if you could do us a favor and just, you know, just maybe pack it up. He goes, yeah, no sweat, no sweat, John, no sweat, no sweat. I'm like, okay, thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. I go, that is, uh, it's, it's a really pretty bike, buddy. It's, it really is. And he goes, yeah, no, yeah, no sweat. Gets off of it, walks it back. So I go over there and Holly's like, what'd you say to him? I'm like, I don't know. I just asked him. I said, hey. And our boyfriend came over, and I'm like, and they're like, that's been going on for like two or three hours. I'm like, you know, a lot of times, um, oh, she goes, how'd you do that? Well, I go, well, I used to be a sales manager after I was a Marine. So I told him, hey, look, either you can knock this off or I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Which it could go either way with me because I am bipolar. Which the whole sales thing plus <laughs> marine thing would make perfect sense to anybody that knows me. If, if I walked up to you and I said, hey, look, you can either knock that off or I can fucking kill you. Anybody that knows me would be like, yeah, that's exactly what he would do. So anyway, this is my boringest tack pack review ever because this is the boringest tack pack box ever. I really really dislike this box i very much enjoyed um meeting the guy on the motorcycle annoying the entire neighborhood and uh the girl who was going to go out there and i swear she was going to strangle that guy uh, <laughs> before i interjected and her boyfriend who i'm pretty sure would, would have been like all right well you know i'll, I'll help you bury the body um, I did have a good day today. I had, you know, with, out with my horse, Batman, and and I, I didn't want to do this review. I, I didn't want to do I was looking for every excuse to not do this because I like Tech Pack. I love Tech Pack. I, I really want for Tech Pack to be a successful company. But when you send us stuff like this, I'm sorry, I can't support you. This is the worst thing that I've ever seen, ever. So, um, I didn't even bother. I was so... I was so upset the night before last. I went out and I didn't even do it yesterday. So they sent us a grip mat. Um, if you like to work on vehicles... <laughs> this isn't gonna fucking help you. They're like, oh well, you know, if you put your stuff in here, it's not gonna fall off. Nobody wants this. I'm not opening my AR-15 over the hood of a vehicle. I don't need this. What? Why would you think that I need this? Just because it's your sister company? And they misspelled sister company. It's like S I S T R C dash o m p a n y it's your sister company i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck if it was on shark tank i don't fucking need it i've never had a use 48 years i've been alive never needed one of these never wanted one i have no use for it now then they sent us three inch targets which are not three inch targets even the case that they come in is not fucking three inches. But I 
will let you guys in on a little secret, or maybe you should or shouldn't know. Or maybe you could or need to know or don't need to know, but the way that a tape measure works, how it's like this little part is seems like it needs to be pinned down. No, it doesn't. If you measure butt up against something like this, it measures the target at two and one quarter inches. Now, if you pull it across on the other side, it measures the target at two and one quarter inches. That's why this thing slides in and out, is if you measure from the outside of this little metal plate, two and a quarter inches, if you measure from the inside of the, the, the plate, two and a quarter inches. No matter how you measure this, that's not three inches. They're not splatter targets, and they're, they look like little BB gun things. And then they put in a bunch of fucking, a bunch of, hey, you throw this away. Every time somebody gives me some bullshit like this, it's like they're telling me, hey, I, I need for you to throw this away from me. I, I, I don't want this to be like my Sunday fucking newspaper. For those of you old enough to understand the Sunday newspaper joke, <laughs> we just get all the fucking advertisements and you just fucking throw them all away and just, where are the comics? Damn it. Then they sent us a, a Battle Arms development um, extended bolt catch release. Whatever. They, they sent us one before from Strike Industries! I can't hear you! Strike first! Strike first! No mercy, sir! And that was a way better bolt catch release. And, and, and black coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company. Like I always say, hey, Black Rifle Coffee Company, if you want to be part do something. Don't fucking... This is... This is no more of use to me than this. And they're fucking overpriced. And the thing that pisses me off about them is because when I was in the United States Marine Corps... Tonight, your pukes will sleep with your rifles. They will give your rifle a girl's name. Because this is the only pussy you people are going to get. Your days of finger banging, old Mary Jane Rottencrotch through her pretty pink panties are over. As a 0311 infantry man, I could never afford Black Rifle Coffee Company, so I don't want to hear your fucking bullshit. The only one good thing that they gave us was a t-shirt. I love t-shirts. You know, I have like 500 million of them. It's like a, a World War I uh, tank that says Tech Pack. A little British tank, a little British bulldog. A little, uh, little hat on his head with some, some goggles. All right. That's fine. And then um, they sent us a Tack Pack turkey sticker. <laughs> Reminds me of that picture of Focahontas. What, the, what was that idiot's name when she was like, well, I'm part Native American, so I should be able to be president. Oh, whatever that dumb bitch's name is. Whatever. So they got, they got a little tack pack Focahontas action going on. Again, Elizabeth Warren. That was her name. Elizabeth Warren. Yeah. Not um, Elizabeth uh, Stands with Eagles. Not Elizabeth uh, Buffalo Back. Elizabeth fucking Warren. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you hate this video as much as I hate making it. 
And Tech Pack, man, you better get your shit right because this is the worst Tech Pack ever. Fuck that. I keep it real. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time.